Hi there, and welcome to the Clear Skin Essentials, and I'm your host, Natasha St. Michael. So today I want to talk about minimizing your skincare routine to clear up adult acne, to clear up breakouts, to, to get clear skin. Recently I received an email from someone in our audience that was telling me how she she knew about my guidelines for diet and skincare to clear up her skin, but at first she just kind of focused on the diet, okay? And she cleaned up her diet, she got rid of like the dairy and the processed food and all that stuff. And she started getting really great results. And But when it came down to my guidelines with skincare to heal acne and breakouts, I really emphasize the importance of having a very minimal skincare routine, okay, and taking a break from makeup and, and as much skincare products as possible. And she was telling me in her email that she was very resistant to that, okay, she just didn't want to do that, nor did she believe me. And what happened was is that cleaning up her diet, it, it did help her to get results and her skin was clearing up, but it wasn't completely clear. Okay, and then one day she was like, you know what, I'm just going to take the leap of faith and try out what Natasha is saying. And lo and behold, within a few weeks, her skin completely cleared up and it's beautiful and she's like thrilled, right? And of course she emails me telling me that like she was resistant at first, but she did it. And this is not the first time I've heard this. And in fact, whenever I receive testimonials, it's always the same thing, right? Everyone's always telling me that they follow all the diet advice first and they don't want to cut anything out of their skincare routine, they're still using makeup, and it's only until they actually cut out the makeup and the skincare products do they really clear up their skin. Okay? And of course, having a healthy diet and a balanced lifestyle, that is going to help your skin. Okay? Everything works hand in hand. You must have a healthy diet, you must have a balanced lifestyle, and you must have a skincare routine that's supporting the health of your skin. Okay, and you must do all three in order to completely clear up your skin. But a lot of times, most people do number one and number two, but they don't do number three. So today I wanna talk about adopting a minimal skincare routine to clear up your skin because I get so many emails from you guys, okay, with photos and, and with just emails expressing just how frustrating and how painful it is to have broken out skin. And, and I get it, you know, and, and in these emails, Many of you are asking me, you know, should I use this? I'm trying this out. What about this? And, and you get my response, right? I always write back saying, stop everything. And, and there's a reason for that. Because your skin, when you're in the middle of like active breakouts, your skin is it's irritated, it's inflamed, it's painful. And the last thing it needs is a bunch of skincare products that are only going to irritate it more. The last thing it needs is makeup on it that's also irritating and inflaming it more. You don't put that stuff, like when, when you have like a, like a rash or, or a scrape or a wound, you never put all those skincare products and makeup on that. But for some reason when it comes down to acne and breakouts, we just put like layer after layer of layer of like really harsh stuff on your skin that's only making it worse. And so what I want to do today is just go through what to do when you're in the middle of having like serious active acne breakouts, okay? What to do, how to minimize your skincare routine to start getting results. And the one thing too is I want to emphasize right now is that this is while you have active pimples on your face. Once your skin is completely healed and cleared up, then you can definitely definitely continue using skincare products or makeup. But while your skin is healing and while you're dealing with like the active breakouts, the inflammation and irritated skin, you need to take a break. Okay, and that's what you need to look at it. It's like you're taking a break until your skin heals. After your skin is healed, you can certainly go back to using some products or makeup if you, if you choose. So what to do when you're in the middle of active breakouts, okay? What is the simplest steps? <laughs> and that is, all I want you to do is stop using skincare products and makeup, okay? For one month, I want you to do an experiment. All I want you to do is to wash your face twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, with the gentlest cleanser you can find. The two cleansers that I recommend are honey and an oil cleanser, okay? For those of you that have really like severe acne or you have really irritated skin or you're younger, okay? You've got younger skin, I would say, if you're 30 or younger, use honey, 
Okay, it, it, th that's the best for younger skin and it's the best for really, really severe breakouts. If you're over 30, I would say try and experiment with oil cleansing just because it'll be a little bit more nourishing and as your skin is, is getting older or more mature, you might need a little extra moisture, moisture and, and nourishment. Now, there's always exceptions. There's always going to be someone that's like in their 50s using honey and there's always going to be someone in their 20s happily using oil but in general I find if you're under 30 better to use honey as a cleanser and if you're over 30 to be using oil as a cleanser okay but those are the two main cleansers that I'd recommend when you have very active breakouts on your skin once your skin is healed and everything's fine, then you can use other things. But whenever you're having a breakout, whether it's a small breakout on one part of your face or your entire face, use honey or an oil cleanser. And I've also put, I know that some of you don't either don't like an oil cleanser or perhaps you have an allergy to bee products, so you can't use honey. I've also on today's blog post at theclearskinessentials.com, I've put a whole list together of other cleansers that I feel are very safe for breakouts, okay, that are very, very gentle, that are an alternative to using honey or an oil cleanser, okay, so go and check that out, I'll put the link below for that, and so all you're going to do is wash your face with either honey or an oil cleanser, morning and night, and if you can, okay, don't use a moisturizer or any kind of product after you wash your face, okay, this is very important. If you can, go with nothing on your skin after you wash it. And yes, in the beginning, I would say for the first one or two weeks, your skin might feel a little bit tight, it might feel a little bit dry, but I assure you, your skin will start to balance out. Okay, it's not gonna happen immediately, it might feel a little awkward, a little tight, a little dry, but you'll see as time goes by, your skin does adjust to not having to rely on a moisturizer. Okay, and, and a lot of times it starts balancing out. A lot of times people have super oily skin, suddenly their skin becomes less oily. Or someone that has the opposite, that has super dry skin, if they're not putting all those products on it, their skin is actually able to naturally start balancing out and producing the extra moisture and oils it needs to, to get rid of the dryness. Okay, so if you can, just wash your face with the gentlest cleanser you can find and don't put anything else on it. Now, if you must, if you're just like, you know what, it, it hurts not putting anything on it, or you live in a very dry environment, or your skin just tends to be really, really, really dry, then the only thing that I recommend putting on your skin as a moisturizer during this month would be either a facial oil or a clear serum. Okay, I don't recommend for the month to use a lotion, and, and the reason why is that Lotions are fine, but when you're having active breakouts, sometimes an ingredient in the lotion or cream or a wax or a butter inside the lotion or cream can aggravate your acne. And I find in general if you use either a facial oil or a serum that's kind of that's gel-like, that doesn't contain waxes and butters, that tends to be less irritating on your skin. Okay, so if you must use something on your skin, go with an oil or a serum, clear serum. And then later on when your skin is healed, you can definitely go back to using moisturizers and lotions, that's fine. But if you're in the middle of like active, like really bad breakout, it hurts, it's irritated, it's inflamed, take a break from lotions and creams as well, okay? And then no makeup. I know this is like the hardest thing to hear. And I know that many of you are like, no, no, I can't leave the house without putting makeup to cover up my breakouts. I understand that. But if you can take at least a break from foundation and tinted moisturizers or anything like that, anything that's like a full coverage makeup, if you can take a break from that and just use perhaps like a concealer or a cover up just in spots that you really need to want to conceal and, and cover up, do that because at least it's not a full coverage makeup and a lot of times concealers can be a little bit more breathable than a, than a full on foundation and less irritating. Okay, so, but if you can, don't put anything on your skin. No, no makeup, no nothing. <laughs> Try your best not to put anything on your skin for an entire month. Just wash it with the gentlest cleanser possible. Okay, and with that, of course, you're going to eat a healthy diet. You're going to follow all my guidelines with eating a acne-free diet. Okay, so you can 
sign up to my free email course, which goes through a lot of diet guidelines as to what to take out or add into your diet to clear up your skin, as well as I offer a few courses too on my website. There's the Clear Skin Diet Rules and the Clear Skin Skincare Rules, and both of those are video courses that also guide you through all the things you need to change within your diet and skincare routine to clear up your skin. So to learn more about a minimalist skincare routine to clear up active breakouts and acne, go to today's blog post at clearskinessentials.com. I list out all the steps to take, all the instructions, as well as recommended products, everything. Okay, and I'll put the link to that below. All right, so if I would love to hear too, if any of you have taken a break from using skincare products to clear up your skin. I'd love to hear what happened and what your results were and what worked for you, what didn't, and any tricks too, anything that made it easier to transition. All right, and do this for at least a month, okay? Don't do it for a week. You need to do it for a month to really, to let your skin adjust to less products and just to let your skin heal as well. All right, so wishing everyone a super fabulous day and I will see you again soon. Bye.